What's up, everybody? We back with another message, another video. Thank you to all my new subscribers and future new subscribers. You know we do nothing here without God because everything is spiritually led by God over here. We cover the world from a spiritual and physical aspect to get the raw, real, and uncut answers. So anything you hear, anything you see in these end times, may you test the spirits, a.k.a. take the words and visuals back to prayer with God, as there are many Decepticons running around in these end times sent from the enemy, had a strong, close, and personal relationship with God. Good, great, and awesome. All right, everybody, July 8th, 2024, word on a good old Monday from the Lord here. God's fiery summer trials of 2024. Let's get into it. Let's talk about it. Many people are going through fiery trials at different levels in the spirit, right? Not everybody's moving up to the same spot or whatever the case may be, wherever you are in your walk. Remember, we all go through it to get to it. So do not be afraid of the trials. Just stay center focused on the example of Jesus Christ. It's going to help you get through it, how to conduct yourself, how to move. Keep going. A lot of faith and heart posture is being tested. And God is testing a lot of people in areas they're not strong in. Or maybe they need to be strengthened in or whatever that case may be, okay? So this is how the Lord gave it to me. They had the Olympic trials this year for the Olympics 2024. And a lot of people, you go and you ask them, it's more pressure on them to make the team than actually being in the event of the Olympics itself. It's like a relief once they make it, right? So with the body of Christ, a lot of people want to be, I hear the term, I want to be a Joseph for this and my family and this and that. I want to do this. I'm going to get out there and preach that, right? The truth, whatever the Lord has for me, whatever the case may be. A lot of people want to be frontliners. Many don't. You know, many are not asking for it. But there are many who are asking for it to make that frontliners team. We are a body of Christ, but not everybody was considered to be on the front line like Moses, Elijah, Paul, is what I'm talking about. Not everybody had that type of walk in the word. It was good reason for it, though. So let's talk about this test and these trials for the summer and so forth, even what you've already been facing a little bit, right? Which is a lot of people. A lot of people go, Father, I'm ready. Let's do this. I want to hold this financial responsibility. I want all of this, right? So I can glorify you. So they're being tested. That's why I say be careful what you're asking for. You're going to get a test of, if not already, of a frontliner. But see, many people are going to realize, oh, dang, like, I skipped ahead. Or even people that try to put themselves in position. So self-positioning in whether ministry or financially, whatever you're trying to do. God will allow those trials to come to you to give you realization. Oh, maybe I'm not supposed to be doing this right now. And I got to go backwards, take a step in patience and continue to do it the way God wanted me to in the first place from there. OK, there are people who are already on the team, but this is a very small amount. And what I mean by team again, frontliner that will hold a lot of responsibility very very few the only reason you're going to get a trial is to strengthen what god needs to strengthen in you that's it it's a lot of stuff going on with trials there's a lot and god is evaluating all in the body of christ so understand this is the time to show God everything that he's been trying to teach you over the course of months that you got this, right? And I told y'all the other day, it doesn't matter if you stumble, get back up and keep going. That is also looked at. Will you get back up and keep going or will you give up? You can do it, right? And whatever level that 
many of you may get moved up to, it may not be frontliner. That's awesome, keep going. But if you don't get moved up to a frontliner and you know I'm not ready for this, like you hit that realization, that's okay, that's for your protection. It was meant to show you it was for your protection, your safety, to not set you up for failure. God wants nothing but the best for you, okay? So that's even okay. Keep going. Don't compare yourself to other people in your walk, right? We want to make sure we stay center focused on our own secret place and walk with the Lord. We want to make sure we continue forward and stay center focused on what we need to work on, right? Another thing that people get confused in the times we're at, a lot of people try to jump and be either buddy-buddy or they want to crowd up together as the body of Christ right now. Although God is bringing certain relationships together and building certain bonds, this is still a major season of separation. So God is doing more separating and trying to place people in the right places, or even if this is supposed to be your isolation period, everybody's at different points, he's moving people and doing things to shift people in the way he needs them to go, right? You can't just jump on because it's a brother or sister in Christ. Oh, I gotta get to know, I gotta do this. No, you've gotta be cautious. Make sure the Lord is okay with everything you're doing. That's super important, permission, permission, permission. That's the difference between deception and truth, idolatry and truth. You know, all that stuff will be checked just stay center focused on the example of Jesus Christ. Be in your secret place. Allow the Lord to direct you. If you need help, he will give you help. But do not move on your own accord in this time, okay? A lot of you, it's time to show you. A lot of you, it's time to show what you got, right? So just act accordingly. Move through these trials. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You're going to make it. OK. It will be for the best, the results you receive. You got it. OK, it's about to be a lot up and coming. So just get ready. Prepare your heart for it. And understand God will never leave you or forsake you. But we got to all go through it to get to it. Peace and blessings and I will catch y'all in the next one.